In the words of author Bill Shannon in his book Cottam Chapel in Penal Times, the Church of St Andrew and Blessed George Haydock is that very rare thing, a Catholic Church whose origins date back to before Catholic emancipation, back to the days when it was illegal to be a Catholic, and when the law imposed draconian penalties on those who refused to attend services in the Church of England. Bill's book celebrates both the people who kept the faith alive on this spot as well as the Haydock family, without whom there never would have been a chapel here at all. The family's Latin motto translates as Your sorrow shall be turned into joy, a quotation from St John's Gospel. The St Andrew's Church website tells that the present chapel in Cotton was completed in 1793. The first public chapel here was opened in 1703 and was very close to the present chapel, if not indeed somewhere on the same site. A locally born priest, John Baines, known sometimes as John Kendall as an alias for safety, had been chaplain at Cotton Hall, but in 1703 he took a barn in Wood Plumpton just over the border of Cotton Manor, and opened it as a chapel. He dedicated it to St Andrew. Legend has it that this chapel was demolished in 1715 by an anti-Catholic mob after the failed Jacobite rising at the Battle of Preston. Dr Shannon's book explains what evidence we have for this. In the official inquiries after the Battle of Preston, large numbers of witnesses were called to give evidence as to what they knew about houses where mass had been said over previous years. One such reluctant witness, himself a convicted recusant Catholic, was William Billsborough of Woodplumpton. On the 18th of July, 1718, he swore that John Baines, alias Kendall, had lived for the past 15 years in a barn leased from himself and that Baines had fitted it up into a chapel and a dwelling house where he had said Mass. The rent was five shillings per annum and the contract was due to expire the following November. However, it seems likely that John Baines later bought the land and remained there at his mission until his death in 1727. He was buried at St Anne's in Woodplumpton on the 5th of April 1727. The story of the anti-Catholic attack on the chapel is not mentioned by any of these witnesses. It was only first mentioned in a later history of Preston, published in 1821, but no definite proof of the attack was offered, exciting as it sounds. It is believed that another barn in Cotton was converted for use as a chapel but in 1745 that was again allegedly destroyed by another anti-Catholic mob after local Catholic support for Bonnie Prince Charlie. Joseph Gillow wrote about this in the Haydock papers. The story is that a mob had first wrecked St Mary's in Friargate, then marched out to Cottam where they attacked the Reverend John Harrison's house and chapel, burning both down. Tradition has it that Father Harrison was found hanging from the oak tree in Cottam Hall Lane but legend it must remain because records prove otherwise and he moved on to another mission and died in 1780. After this, a chapel really was attacked during the Great Election Riots of Preston in 1768 by a no-popery mob from the town. In 1769, priest John Lund, born in Bartle, was sent to Cottam and took charge of the mission. The congregation grew, and by 1793 he was able to build the present chapel dedicated to St Andrew at a cost of £335, five shillings and fourpence and three farthings. He continued here in charge until his death on June the 24th, 1812, and he was buried in the church. John Lund had only been able to complete his new chapel because at that time toleration of Catholics was finally becoming more accepted. 
In 1791, a new act was passed, allowing Catholic chapels to be built, providing they did not have steeples or bells, and providing doors were left unlocked during services. The church we see today is essentially Father Lund's Church of 1793, as later modified around 1860, and later again prior to the centenary in 1893.